Kia ora whanau, this is Mr McMillan speaking. I hope this message finds you healthy, happy and safe. This is a short tutorial on how the children, uh, the year five to eight children, can access their digital learning online. Um, it is all ready to deploy. The, uh, the senior team have been working on it uh, for a good couple of weeks now and it's looking pretty good so there's some good content there for your children this approach is a bit new to us at um, calvin Rose school and as time goes on we will get better and better at it um, some of it may not work and if you discover that this impacts on you or if you've got any further questions please just email your child's teacher i believe the emails have been sent out via school loop and Facebook, um, and they are expecting uh, the questions to come, and they will answer. So, first of all, to access the uh, the pupils' work, uh, you need to go into Chrome. I'm not sure if it works anywhere else, but I do know that it works in Chrome. And we're going to be using a program called Hapara. So the children are. Are familiar with the concept of hapara, um, although the way that we are going to be using it today, uh, it's an improved uh, approach and the children are not familiar with that. Um, just a heads up, part of the hapara package uh, is an element called highlights, so that uh, most of the children will know about that, and that's a facility that allows us to see the children's screens as, as they are working. However, this does not function when um, it's being used outside of school. So it only works in school. So if the children go into Hapara, uh, we can't actually see uh, what is on their screen or what they are doing. I thought I'd just mention that because uh, some of the kids might just point out that there is that functionality. So the first thing to access it you need to do is um, uh, search for the Hapara uh, student dashboard. So it's come up at the top, so that's good. And then you will want to log in. Okay, so I'm going to sign in with Google. It'll give us a choice of Google accounts. And this is the one we are using. This is, this is a test account, yeah. Um, so the kids will have their own um, username, their login, and a password. And if they've forgotten it or they don't know what it is, just email their teachers. Type in my password. Hopefully that worked. Great. And then it should take them to um, something called workspaces. Now the, the children will recognize the Hapara um, icon up there, but they have not worked in the part of it called workspaces but there is a, um, a workspace there this one's called calvin road senior school workspace yeah yours might be called something different it might be called room 8 or room 23 or, or whatever um, but this one is called the senior school workspace this is something that all the teachers in the senior school um, developed together uh, just so that we can um, practice this and it is so you click on it it's a week's worth of work our goal was to make it separated out by days and each day we didn't really want there to be more than two hours worth of work. So if you find they're going on longer than two hours, um, maybe just pull the pin on it and um, come back to it another day because um, it might be a little bit tough for them. We've tried to set it up so that it will work for just about anybody. Um, but if it is too tough, then there's no point in torturing them. Um, and then just let us know because uh, we will alter the work that we do in the future. So you can see there that there's Monday. So that's starting this Monday coming up. I know that it's Easter Monday. Um, uh, if you want to make them do some work, um, you can. If it's Easter Monday, you don't, Monday and you don't want them to, then don't. We, we were just setting it up for a week just as a practice for us. Uh, you can see that in the first column, it just tells you what day it is. In the second column, uh, these are the resources that will help the children um, do their tasks. 
and then the third column, this is the, this is the column that the children do their tasks in. So you can see there that it says assigned work. And there's another assigned work. You can click on start to start it. There's some more assigned work. And then the fourth column is just a little bit of extra stuff. If they want to, they can come back and do it. Now, if we go down to Tuesday, oh yes, there's a nice looking Tuesday. You'll see that there's their resources for Tuesday. And you can see that um, the work for Tuesday is not there. And, and that's because we've, the teacher that set this particular part up doesn't really want them to look at it until Tuesday. So theoretically, it should appear on Tuesday. And again, there's the fourth column, which is just extra uh, for experts. And then Wednesday is the same. So we've got the resources, the tasks are hidden until Wednesday, and there's some extra for experts there. And the same with Thursday. And then there's Friday. So hopefully this um, this works well for you. I, I know that not all children have uh, access to devices or the internet, and this is a problem that we um, we are working on, as is the Ministry of Education. But for those of you that do have access to devices and the internet, uh, this is a good starting point. Please do um, email your teachers if you have any questions or any concerns. Um, if, it all, if it's going all well for you, then you can email them and tell them that as well. That, that there will be good, some good feedback. We will refine this approach um, to, to make it simpler, uh, but as we've not really done it this way before, um, we don't really know what the barriers are going to be. Okay, that's it. Thanks.